Lucien Levy Bruel, Quid de Deo Seneca Censorit, Episode 8. Quum igitur hi omnes stoicam sectam secutisent, quid mirdrum si multa communia in eordrum scriptis, multa autem unius quiusque propria inveniantur? The author continues to discuss the changes that occurred within Stoic philosophy over the centuries. Therefore, he says, quum, quum here, as I've mentioned previously, is an alternative spelling of cum, and this one, I believe, is causal. Therefore, because all of these men, he, omnes, men like Cleanthes, Chrysippus, Mark Antony, all these men followed, secutisent, the Stoic school, the Stoic sect. Stoicum here is an adjective in the feminine singular and accusative, modifying the noun sectum. Secutisent is a perfect subjunctive, from the third conjugation deponent verb sequor sequi. Therefore, because all of these men followed the Stoic school, quid mirum, and here we have implicit est, quid mirum est, what surprise is there? How is it surprising, or what is the shock if, and then this C clause is ended by the present subjunctive in the passive, inweni antur, which is from the fourth conjugation verb inwenio inwenire. So then, how is it surprising if many things are discovered in Eordrum Scriptis, many things are discovered in their writings or are found in their writings that are shared, communia. Multa and communia are neuter, plural, nominative, the subject of inwenian Many shared things are discovered in their writings, but many things are propria. Multa and propria are also neuter, plural, nominative, but many unique things, or many things particular or peculiar, uni usque usque. This is masculine, singular, and genitive, and we would translate it as unique to each. Many things are found unique or peculiar to each and every one of them. So again, he is stressing both the continuity of Stoic philosophy over the centuries and the development. There are multa communia in their writings, there are multa propria to each one of them individually. If the viewer has more interest in this topic, no better source could be found, mea sententia, than this one by Anthony Long, entitled Hellenistic Philosophy. This is the second edition. The first edition was published in 1974.